All right, so we gotta remove our lug nut. Kick the wheel off. Now these rotors aren't the worst thing I've seen, but they are warped. They're causing a shake and we got little to no pad life left on the other side. We'll check this one out, but we're gonna change out pads and rotors with electronic parking brake without a scan tool. So we're gonna be able to do that. I'll show you how, it's not too difficult. You don't need a scan tool. We just need to remove this parking brake off. So right now the vehicle is off. It is on jack stands. Key is out of the ignition. So we, nothing's being applied to the brakes. So right now we're okay with the parking brake. If you don't have electronic parking brake, you don't need to follow these steps um, to the T, but this is really easy to deal with. You don't need a scan tool. Okay, so first things first, we are going to remove our little protector for the caliper slides, the two little rubber grommets or plastic pieces that go into these little rubber boots so we can remove the caliper pins. Caliper slide pins are seven millimeter. So we use a seven millimeter Allen stud with a little extension. Those will get you around the parking brake issue. Okay, I don't know if you can see right here, um, but there is a little connector for the electronic parking brake. We're gonna squeeze the release tab. Another audible click, disconnected. Again, the key is off, there's nothing going on here. We don't have a scan tool hooked up. So do not touch the brakes after you disconnect that. Just back those out. If you get stuck, just remove. All right, so now we're just gonna wiggle off the caliper. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot a step. So now we have the brake retaining spring here. All you're gonna do is grab one little part of it. The needle, I use a long needle as pliers, pry one side away, and you can back it out. Just got two little pins hiding the holes of the caliper, and that kind of holds some pressure against the caliper and then you can just oh make sure your your studs are all the way or your caliper slides are all the way out once you do that you can come and swing the caliper this way so here's the electronic parking brake actuator don't want to be grinding on this hose or anything so using a five millimeter allen socket there's two allens that hold this actuator on so you're just gonna they're not in with much pressure so you're gonna remove that okay so now the parking brake actuator is free. You're just gonna do a little wiggle and there's just a rubber O-ring that will hold it on. And there's some grease in here. So now, using a special caliper retractor tool, I'll have a link in the description to this one. You're gonna twist. You can't just push this caliper in. You gotta spin it into the right. So this is a special tool designed to spin the caliper back in. And eventually you'll see it catch the uh, actuator piece and that will start to turn as well, as you can see. So you're just gonna spin this all the way in caliper all threaded in now now I'm gonna take this gonna rest it there I'm gonna use a little bit of sill glide and lubricate that o-ring you don't want anything to any dust or anything to get in here get into the sensor so 
So once you do that, you can just wiggle your parking brake actuator back on. Press it on over the O-ring and put our Allen bolts back in. And then the caliper is ready for to accept new pads without it being a huge deal. Let's try to get them both started real quick. That is all. Then we're going to lubricate our caliper slide pins. But we're going to set this off to the side right now. Make sure that doesn't fall and damage anything. And now we're going to remove our brake pads. So not much left to these. You can see this one's getting down to the squealer. And we got some warpage of the rotors. Caliper hold down bolts are a 14 millimeter. one here and one down lower once I break them free you can either spin them out by hand or if you got power tools use them oh make sure they're going the right direction okay, remove that the rotor will be kind of stuck on from a rust point Now we're going to clean up some of our we clean up our caliper bracket as much as we can. In your caliper bracket, we're going to get a file in there. Lose any major corrosion. So we're gonna spray a little bit of brake parts cleaner. And this, and then we're gonna clean up our caliper bracket, our brake pads land. Let's get that all clean. So you want to clean off your rotor. I put it on backwards. Uh, don't think I'm doing this the wrong way. I just spray brake cleaner. This way you can get through all the fins. And it kind of rides out. Clean the your rotor. Flip it over. Do the same thing here. You don't want any grease and oil or the shipping fluid to be on this brake rotor and get into your brake pads which is not ideal so now we're going to put our caliper bracket back on put our 14 mils back in crank them back down make sure they're tight so you're gonna have two brake pads one's gonna have the spring 
one's gonna have nothing so one with nothing outside pad one with a spring is the inside pad so, you want to make sure that these ride pretty freely that's why we cleaned them up you don't want these to be like getting jammed in there or anything so now take our caliper pins take our caliper pins clean them up a little bit put some silicone brake lube that's a little too much <laughs> just lubricate the caliper slides you don't want these getting corroded and not moving in that rubber so now we can slide our caliper back over slide our caliper pins in get this thing lined up make sure they're both started before you crank one down tighten them up put our covers back in connect our parking brake actuator we get the audible click with that back in and now here is our new retaining spring this puts outside pressure on the caliper just get this mounted into the caliper press your other one in and flex this one over into the caliper you want to make sure these are pressed all the way in a small hammer can be done if it's not in make sure those are retained and you notice that so it gives us our outside pressure so now we're good to go Vehicle's back on the ground. You're going to press the brake pedal until that brake pedal firms up. 